it is a high possibility, high probability that Christopher is still out there. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I am going to be covering five missing persons cases that really deserve our attention, but just don't have enough information to warrant individual videos. There has only been very minor information released to the public because they aren't able to find anything. I really encourage you to watch this video in its entirety. Stick with me to the end because maybe you know something about these missing persons. Maybe you have the key that can lead these investigators to finding them or at least giving the family some answers. So stick with me to the end. Please subscribe if you are interested in missing persons, if you like crime, um, you know, hearing about these investigations because I think that's basically what I'm going to stick with from now on. I might incorporate some other videos, but I really enjoy learning about um, crime, missing people, um, murder investigations, and I think that's pretty much going to be the avenue that I travel down from now on. So please like, subscribe if you want to stick with me, and please watch to the end of this video so that you can get as much information as possible regarding these five people. The first person we're going to talk about is Wayne Mowry Sr. He was 78 years old when he went missing on October 30th, 2017 in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. He was last seen on October 30th at at the Columbia Mall, which is a place that he frequented for physical exercise. He would visit this location multiple times a week um, in order just to, you know, walk around, get his physical exercise, and he was last seen a little bit before noon he was to pick up a pair of glasses, I believe, at this location. His car was found on November 3rd at the Danville Boat Launch. This was highly unusual according to his family. There was no reason for his car to be here. There was no evidence found in the car and they conducted water, land, and air searches for Wayne and were unable to recover any evidence or his body. If you have any information, please contact Crime Stoppers. I'm gonna put their number in the description box below and all information that you give is anonymous. The next person we're going to talk about is Jessica Collier. She was 25 years old when she went missing on September 18th, 2017 from Dover, Pennsylvania. There is so little known about Jessica. Her fiance and or boyfriend, it's unclear. Um, I've seen two different sources stating two different things. Um, contacted the police department when she never came home from a walk on Solar Drive. She was last known to be wearing a black t-shirt and gray pants and this is the extent to which we know about Jessica or her case. The only other thing that her fiance said was that she is known to be on medications and I'm not sure what that means. I don't know if that means she had a history of drug use or if that means she was taking prescribed medications for a mental illness. I did think it was important to include here because he does make a point to say that. That though is the only thing we know about Jessica or where and how she went missing. Jessica is five foot seven and approximately 170 pounds. Michael Rickard was 25 years old when he went missing on March 7th, 2018 in Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. He was last seen in the area of 5821 Library Road, and this is near a Planet Fitness and near his apartment, but those are kind of in the area of the last location that he was known to be in. His family found his cell phone, his wallet, and a disturbing note in his apartment um, talking about suicidal or self-harm ideations, and thus they contacted the authorities. No other information has been released and nothing else has been found regarding um, his case or his whereabouts. His family obviously is concerned that he may have done something to himself um, and so they are asking anybody to keep their eyes open. Maybe he's still out there. Maybe he just wanted to escape his life. There are so many possibilities of what could have happened to Michael. Michael is five foot nine and approximately 180 pounds. The next person we're going to discuss is Tyler Shoebrook. He was 16 years old when he went missing on June 12th, 2017 in Shenandoah, Pennsylvania. He was last seen at Shenandoah Valley High School. He sometimes would um, call himself Tashia, T-A-S-H-I-A, and so the family wants to make it very clear that he could be going by that name now. 
He is approximately five foot five and 160 pounds. He does have one distinguishing mark, a tattoo on his left shoulder blade. It is two crosses, um, a blue ink that fades into a purple that says in loving memory of Mimi, M-I-M-I. And lastly, I'd like to talk about Christopher Story. He was 44 years old when he went missing in Newcastle, Pennsylvania on August 11th, 2013. Now I found conflicting sources. Two different sources list his age. One is 40 years old and one is 44. I don't think that's gonna make a significant difference if you um, know of this person. Four years is really not gonna change their appearance. Um, he was last seen again on August 11th. His parents went to check on him and they found his phone, his wallet, his medications, and also his Rottweiler. His dog was left in his home. He does have a history of hallucinations and he did take medication for those hallucinations. His family says when he is not on his medication that he is known to be jittery, obviously suffer from hallucinations, and could become very agitated. Christopher was unable to drive due to an accident and also because of this accident he did have a physical um, disability and he did have a noticeable limp with scars and scratches on his legs. Christopher was known to take the city bus frequently because he was unable to drive. They did investigate, you know, the bus driver and they did ask many questions but that led them to a lot of dead ends. There have been many unconfirmed sightings of Christopher and so I think this is a really interesting important case to talk about because it is a high possibility, high probability that Christopher is still out there. He may not be able to identify himself, he may be suffering from hallucinations, he may be scared, he may be agitated, he may be in a hospital right now or a mental health facility. This is a very, very important case to cover here on YouTube. I please, please ask you to study this picture, become very familiar with it, and that way in case you do see him, you are able to contact authorities. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I wish I had more information to offer you regarding these individuals, but it's just not out there. I encourage you to do your own research, look these people up, investigate as much as you can, study their pictures, and keep your eyes open because we are all able to contribute um, something, but we have to keep our eyes open and we have to take notice when things are not right. Please, please, please join me again. I look forward to seeing you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.